Hmm. I want to start this one. Like we start all the other ones. Welcome to episode 41 of the Dealers Compressed Podcast. My name is Paul J. Daly, and I am thankful to be here, and I'm thankful that you're paying attention. I'm thankful that you're listening. Um, in one sense or another, it has been an awesome year, and I, I'm talking like it's New Year's and we're getting ready for 2019, but tomorrow's Thanksgiving. By the time this airs, it'll be a little bit after Thanksgiving, and uh, I'm just feeling in that introspective, thankful mode. So I just thought it'd be great just by starting off saying thank you. Uh, I really mean that, not in a kitschy or cheesy way, but I'm really thankful for everyone who's listened and watched over the past 40 episodes of the Dealers Compressed podcast for whatever reason, whether that's from the motivation side or from the auto industry side, um, or just for um, to laugh a little bit sometimes at some of the some of the visuals and gifts that come up, sometimes just uh, a little bit of energy. Whatever the reason is, I really appreciate uh, the fact that you're joining in and you're following along with the journey. I know you have lots of other places to spend your time and attention, so it really is an honor and a privilege that you spend a little bit here. Got some good plans coming up for this weekend. Been thinking a lot about this year. I don't know if it's just in the auto industry or just kind of in my own personal life, but I feel like this year there has been more change and change at a faster pace than in previous years. And I know that's kind of a big blanket statement to make, um, but I just feel like that. And I kind of feel like other people feel the same way, that things are just changing at a faster pace. And it takes more and more effort just to keep up. And it takes even more effort to get ahead or feel like you're ahead of the curve in any sense of the word. And it has me thinking a lot about a topic and a concept that I really started talking about years ago when we made uh, one of our very first HR videos. And the title of that video was called The Transaction of Growth. And so I want to talk about the transaction of growth a little bit today. And this is probably going to be one of the shorter pieces and shorter podcasts. Um, we've made. But the concept of the transaction of growth is really simple. And it's the fact that in order to grow, it takes pain. In order to get better, it takes friction. And the friction that is just uh, produced by movement and motion. And this is what I call the transaction of growth. And it's growth costs something. Growth is not for free. You can't, a lot of people say they want to grow, but Many people, I don't, I'm not going to say most, actually, if you're watching this or you're part of this audience, it's not you likely um, because our listeners and our audience are the kind that like kind of take it by the take life by the horns and expect a struggle. But the transaction of growth is saying like a lot of people say they want to grow and but does everyone really count the cost of the growth? It's fun to talk about motivation. It's fun to talk about growing. It's fun to talk about the grind and 10xing your business and, you know, putting in all the effort and time and energy and like, you know, and you see the people flaunting dollars and private planes and all this garbage on Instagram. And the truth is that anyone who's actually in the struggle knows that growing and growth takes pain. And I feel like this is evident in just about every area of life, every area of nature, every area of relationships, right? Let's talk about a few. Let's use an automotive example. And I use this in a video we made. I want to remake that video at some point because I think uh, we've definitely upped our game from a creative standpoint and it'd be good. I think it's kind of a timeless message. So it takes like 80, I can't remember the number, like 87 horsepower. Somebody's going to paddle fact check me on this when he watches this 80 something horsepower to get a car from zero to 100 miles an hour. It takes 80. But in order to get it from 100 to 200 miles an hour, it takes like four or 500 horsepower. Why? Well, because as that car goes faster, the wind resistance pushing against it increases, the friction, right? So it's a transaction. Or you have friction pushed back because of the progress and because of the motion, and you need more power to push through it. To use fitness as an example, in order for your muscles to grow, your body to get more fit, it takes pain and effort, and it takes willingness and desire. Your muscles literally have to rip before they can get stronger. Let's talk about learning to walk, right? How do you learn to walk? Well, you fall. 
you expend energy and you fall and you get back up and you learn and you fall. Relationships, right? Love, commitment, time. It takes a lot of investment. It takes a lot of pain. It takes a lot of hard things in order to get the growth. And that's the transaction of growth. You have to give before you get. You have to expend energy in order to have the, the privilege of maybe getting some growth. So as we've gone through 2019 or 2018, I'm getting ahead of myself. So we've gone through 2018 and this year and all these changes. Um, it's really easy to complain. Oh, you know, the, the algorithm changes. Oh, kids these days. Oh, millennials. Oh, the workforce. Oh, and it's easy to complain about stuff, right? It doesn't cost anything to complain, but growing costs something. And so the people that embrace the challenge and embrace the friction are the ones that grow. Last week on the podcast, I talked about having tough conversations and the fact that you're willing to engage the struggle and willing to engage maybe even the small tough conversations, having tough conversations, whether it's in relationships or work or whatever, right? The transaction you get by having the tough conversation is you get growth and you get growth personally and you get growth in your relationships and you get growth professionally when you engage. And so as we're rolling around Thanksgiving time, about to enter the holiday season, we're in it actually, full swing, this kind of dichotomy between like being incredibly thankful for what I have in my life, you know, and my wife who, who loves me despite my faults and my kids who love me and this, you know, my family and friends and this company that I have the privilege of people saying they're willing to hitch up with me in this season, um, that's a gift. Watch, anyone who watches or consumes this content is a gift, right? So being incredibly thankful for that, but also balancing that out with like the tensions in life and the things that make growth hard. So that's it's kind of the thinking for this kind of short abridged podcast, being thankful and then the transaction of growth and being thankful for the transaction of growth. So I encourage you today, understand the transaction of growth, remind yourself of it because I know you know this is true already. You know it takes pain to grow. But remembering the framework that the growth, the pain produces growth, right? The tension produces stronger. And remembering that in the situations is sometimes just enough to, to get you through that tough spot. So been living that a lot lately in these last couple of weeks, a lot of tough things going on, but that's okay because I've never looked back at any tough situation and realized that I didn't grow from it. Not once, not once have I looked back on a tough situation and said, boy, I didn't learn anything. No, that's how you learn. You don't learn anything when everything's great. You get lazy, you get soft. So whatever that's worth, I hope that you get a little bit of motivation. I know a lot of people out there in the middle of something tough know that on the other side of this tough thing, you're going to be better, you're going to be stronger, you're going to grow. And that's something worth being thankful for. Again, thank you for listening to the Dealers Compressed podcast. Thank you for following along with any of the other, any of the other social accounts I and mean, stuff that I do. If you haven't followed along, um, I post a lot of business stuff on LinkedIn. So if you're in business, um, if you connect with me on LinkedIn, I'd love to be connected there. Um, it's Paul J. Daly on Instagram is kind of the more personal side and the lighter side of my life. Um, that's Paul the Daily at Paul T H E D A L Y on Instagram. Again, another little flavor. I'm on Twitter as well, Paul J. Daly as well as Facebook. It'd be great to connect in these multiple platforms because then we can interact and kind of learn from one another. So thanks again for listening. I hope you have an incredible week and I hope you grow. Get up, get up, get up, like this. Gotta, gotta get it, get it, get it,